I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, and let's focus on verses 6 and 7. God is just, and He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you, and give relief to those who are troubled, and to us as well. And this will happen when the Lord is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with His powerful angels. That's 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. My wife and I have four children, and in our house, it's difficult to keep a secret. <laughs> There's just too many people and too little space for privacy. And at times, you know, we have developed this elaborate holiday shopping process where we'll go to the mall together and everyone shops on the same day and yet nobody knows what they're getting until they open their presents. And when it comes to gift giving, my kids demand fairness. Everyone has to get the same amount. And if it were discovered that we spent more on one sibling, well, then there'd be a huge wine fest until next year. And adults, by the way, have similar expectations about God, that God must be fair. Well, you may be disappointed if your hope of God's goodness is weighed on your scale for His fairness, because God is not fair. See also the book of Ecclesiastes. Fairness assumes that we should get all the same thing. Everybody gets the same thing. And then our American understanding of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness Well, that's led us to assume that everyone deserves equal portions. You don't have equal portions. You just have equal opportunity in order to get whatever portion you can. Well, each of us has different callings or missions to accomplish within God's kingdom. And imagine, you know, if you're in the army, right? Because soldiers are ration supplies and armaments, which are according to their distinct missions. And some need overwhelming supplies, and others would be hindered by excess gear to schlep around. It's not a question of fairness or equity. Supplies are rationed based on what is right for the mission. And if God is not fair, then what makes Him good? Well, He's good because He is just. And justice does not assume that all men get equal shares and equal portions in life. Justice simply represents that God can always be trusted to judge fairly and to display His righteousness with ultimate authority. The Thessalonian congregation endured severe persecution. Notice Paul didn't promise equality with other congregations. Instead, he encouraged them to persevere as a testimony to others. And he focused their hope on God's justice instead of a false hope of equal treatment with other believers. You know, some acts of justice may not occur even in our lifetime. Our oppressors may die believing that they got away without punishment. And our hope is that God will judge eventually. Nobody escapes God's justice. And Paul indicated that aspects of the fullness of God's justice will not be fully weighed on the Thessalonian oppressors, until the Lord is revealed when He comes again with His angels, as it were. So, enter grace. Messiah took God's judgment for the world's sin upon Himself. And through a saving relationship with Jesus, we can boldly stand before the Lord justified. Furthermore, the grace of the Messiah, Jesus, is offered freely to anyone who would turn from their sin and by faith receive it. And I don't know about you, but that's fair enough. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.